there something I can help you with? Yeah, I want your watch commander. Okay. Did I stutter? I'm not tender, telling you my name. name. I'm, no, you're not going to get my name. I don't need to tell you my name. I want your watch commander. What's your name? Oh. Did he hang up on you? I got all f night, bro. All f night. I got all f night. Oh, oh. Speak to a oh yeah? That is that is that a challenge? Come up here to the station if you would like to talk to What's me. What's your name, bitch? Uh, who is this? Ramos. Ramos. Hey, um, who who was the other gentleman that I just spoke to that hung up? I, I need to call Internal Affairs. I need a name and a badge number. You were actually professional enough to give me that initially, and uh, you'll be included as well. Uh, but I wanted to. Oh, oh, you just belched on the phone. Uh, oh, you did. Oh, uh, wow, that's Ramos, the new YouTube star, and you were going to be demoted to dog catcher if you're lucky. Well, uh, sweetheart, I'm not going to ever work as a dog catcher, okay? Because I don't need this job, okay? You don't need this I, job. Uh, yeah, I have a college education. Right? Oh, oh, you're I educated? Are you super educated, okay, like I don't Spock? Need this job. I do this no I actually yeah yeah I do yeah 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 this well, is, I still believe that Dallas is a great place uh, it is a great place it's just filled with a bunch of bad cops it's just my opinion shared by millions I flew all the way out here from California to come in and for you to make good on your threat to me okay that's what we all so is that so is that, there goes the walk of shame, folks. No, he's coming out. He's coming out. Is there something that can help you with, sir? Yeah. Hi, I need a, your watch commander right now, please. Who am I speaking with? Uh, that's none of your business. I need your watch commander right now, please. That's what I'm asking you, sir. Hey, well, listen, if you want to get in line with all the other tyrants on the video that I just saw of, of your division going through uh, a, a journalist's pockets to ID them, are you familiar with uh, 3802? Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I want your watch commander. Okay, Did I stutter? I'm not tender, telling you, you my name. I'm, no, you're not going to get my name. I don't need to tell you my name. I want your watch commander. What's your name? Oh. Did he hang up on you? He fucking... That fucking bitch hung up on you. Oh, this, uh, we're... Okay. Oh. Um... Do you want right, to no, know how you, to redial on no, there? It's... <laughs> oh. Wow. I'm so livid right now. Is he gonna ignore the call now? What? Is he gonna ignore the call now? Yeah. <clears throat> What's your name? What's your name, fuckstick? Oh my god. I'm gonna do some Lamaze breathing. <sighs> In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, we're doing, uh, we're going to call this back. Hold on a minute. With a star six, seven. All right, we're doing star six, seven first. Hi, I need your watch commander, please. How much do you want? Uh, a, a good citizen. Do I need to give you my name? Yes, you do. Is that a law? Sir, would you like me to help you or not? Listen, bitch, if you wonder why there's a disconnect between society and police. <sighs> wow.
Copy. Watch, Commander. My name is Officer Douchebag. I'll call all fucking night, man. I got all fucking night, bro. All fucking night. I got all fucking... Oh, oh. Speak to oh yeah? That is that is that a challenge? Come up here to the station if you would like to talk to me. What's your name, bitch? Wow. Oh, we're, we're... Oh. Hung up all night. I will call all fucking night. Please hold. Gonna put you on hold yeah. all night. Yeah. You think I'm born fucking yesterday? Watch, Commander, please. Watch, Commander, please. Who's this? Watch, Commander, please. Huh? Listen. You... <clears throat> oh, my God. Hey, uh, you're going to be a good garbage man. I'm calling the fucking mayor with this video. I'm sorry, who's this? Officer Ramos, great. Can I speak with your watch commander, please? Okay. This is who, sir? I, I don't understand. I don't understand the line of questioning here. This, no, this is after when I get a watch command, I need to know right, when I pass. Him Good off citizen. The line, I need to know what this regards to. Uh, this is regards to the, the. Actually, this is regards to the last ten phone calls that I've made. So that's what it's in regards to. And it's in regards to the video. <laughs> Of oh Ramos. Oh no, eleven oh. phone calls now. And the video. I got all night, bro. All right, hold on. <laughs> Put me on hold. Hi, I, I just wanted to just can you state your name again for uh, you're the next YouTube star? If you want to file a complaint, call Internal Affairs at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., what's your name? Well, we'll just find out who was manning the fuck which. Who is this? Ramos. Ramos. Hey, um, who who was the other gentleman that I just spoke to that hung up? I, I need to call Internal Affairs. I need a name and a badge number. You were actually professional enough to give me that initially, and uh, you'll be included as well. Uh, but I wanted to... Excuse me. Oh, you just belched on the phone? Uh, oh. You did. Oh, uh, wow. that's... Ramos, the new YouTube star. Uh, this is going right to the mayor. Uh, you, you guys, you, this is your time to shine. This yeah. is your chance to shine, and boy, did you blow it. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? That's how they handle complaints from citizens. That's how you handle complaints from citizens. 
Hey. If you wanted to talk to Washman, there is no Washman on duty right now. Oh, so it took yeah. me 15 phone calls to figure that out? Mm-hmm. Hey. Are you good at feeding dogs? Because you're going to be the, you, you're, you're going to be working at the at the animal sh- you're going to be working at the animal shelter, Ramos. That's going to be this is the best job you're ever going to have in your life, and you are going to be demoted to dog catcher if you're lucky. Well, sweetheart, I'm not going to ever work as a dog catcher, okay? Because I don't need this job, okay? You don't need this job? I, yeah, I have a college education. Right. Oh, oh, you're I educated? Are you super educated, I like don't Spock? Need this job. I do this job because I like to serve. You are wasting my time. I answer the question, or else I'm gonna hang up. On no, me. I actually. I, yeah, I, yeah, I do. Yeah. Acting watch commander. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. We're calling uh, Dallas Police Headquarters. Dallas Police Headquarters. Hi, is there a watch commander there that I might be able to kindly speak with, please? Uh, no, there's not. Not at the moment. What okay. can I help you with? I was just wondering um, if, if there was if if the inmates had taken over the asylum down at uh, Southeast Division. Uh, I just placed fifteen, at least fifteen phone calls trying to get a watch commander, and they refused to patch me through without my IDing uh, my name uh, first. They hung up on me. They belched on the telephone with me. Um, and uh, all, all sorts of other uh, fifth grade tactics along the way. So, um, is that? I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait till this, wait till this video hits YouTube. So, um, what video are you referring to, sir? Uh, the one that's going on right now. So, um, oh, it's already been posted, sir. Uh, no, it's it's on its way. It's you you are in you are in the video right now live. So, but it is in regards. To the video of a uh, a, a, journal, a citizen journalist who um, was at Southeast Division and was uh, illegally detained and illegally searched and ID'd. Okay. Does anybody know about 3802 down there? What, was he actually on the, the grounds of the police substation? Uh, yes. Okay. Does does that does that make a difference? A little bit depends. Well, which what, well, which is I, it? I don't know the situation, sir. I wasn't there. Okay, no, there's You're telling me an awful lot of facts that obviously I'm not privy to. Great. So well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to ask and no, absolutely. Get some information. Abs- absolutely. No, there was a, there was a uh, there was a citizen journalist. Uh, okay. He goes by the name of the name. News Now. Is his screen name on YouTube? Okay. And he was uh, illegally detained. And I okay. did. He was uh, they uh, and illegally searched. Um, they went into his pockets. They pulled out his wallet, and they ID'd him. In in absolute, uh, you know, against uh, Texas Penal Code thirty eight oh two, and the whole time he kept saying that this is First Amendment protected activity. He kept citing thirty eight oh two. He's refusing and, uh, ID. And, and refuse, he was refusing I, to ID because he doesn't need to ID as per 3802. But he said he was filming on the grounds of the substation, correct? Yes. Is that a crime? Well, it's just, that kind of seems suspicious. I mean, unless you're there... To is that a, is suspicious, suspicious, is suspicious a felony or a misdemeanor? Uh, uh, it sounds like you got a hold of looking up what it is. What, what, you're, I mean, again, I haven't seen... You got a whole looking up what, what it is. Okay, so is suspicion? Were you, were you there? It, it, uh, I was not there, but it is suspicious. Uh, it uh, when when does uh, photography in public constitute suspicious behavior? I'm just curious. Well, it's public, but I've you seen said the video. It was well, right. it's yeah, it's private property, but it's publicly accessible. It's the what police is, station, sir. He... It's the police station. Yes, and he told them that he was there practicing his First Amendment protected activity, and that he wasn't going to tell them his name. Okay. So that well, should have been released? that should have been the end of it. Was he was he released after he was illegally detained and illegally searched, and then they so ran? They figured out what was they figured out what was wrong ran with his that, ID. Well, well, they were they, they were about him, right? four, they were about four or five so cops. Detainment is to investigate why he was there, right? Which they got to the bottom of. It sounds like. 
he told them why he was he told them why he was there repeatedly oh, okay. Wow. Okay. so I just is that your policy to just just start detaining citizen journalists that are filming no, it's not a policy it's the law it's, it's the law just a state what? oh it's the state law to, to, what to, penal code is yeah that? what penal so code is that to what Texas penal code is that I'd like to look that up please I, I want to look it up I'm on my computer right now I'll type in penal code start reading okay which one is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know Go what ahead. you're trying to get out of calling police headquarters. I can transfer you to well, IED if you, if you want. Okay. Um, you, you might want to. Yeah, you, you might want to. Uh, yeah, you might want to give Southeast mm -hmm. Division a, a, a call and, and let them know that they're on blast. And uh, and here's the deal. Here's their chance to shine. Here's everybody's laws. chance to shine. And uh, and you guys are falling right on your face. And and you guys wonder why there's a disconnect between police. And society, when you guys start running around like tyrants and 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 co-signing everybody else's like tyrants. E tyrants. Well, how do we fix that, sir? How, uh, do we, how do we become better engaged with the, with the public? Uh, with let's the see. Let people. me see here. I'm going to think real hard. How about following the law, for starters? And when we call. Right. And we when we call, and ask to speak to a watch commander, not to uh, insist that I give a name uh, so I can't talk to a watch commander anonymously? They hung up on me. They hung up on me. I called about 15 times. Well, how, how about a first name? I, I, what, who? Would you start with that? Just so I don't, common courtesy would be the, I, I don't need to give I you, mean, you a, Justin. Okay, I don't need to give you that common courtesy. You guys make see here's a, here's again the disconnect. You guys you guys are required to tell us your your, your last name and your serial or your badge the number. Name and a badge number, correct? Right. So we don't you guys trust you. you guys flip it around and, and make it sound like we're required to do the same. It's actually the Supreme Court has told us that we're calling because we just saw you violate someone's rights and you want us to trust you with yeah. our name. Yeah, you just violated someone's rights and you want us to trust. You. I don't even I don't trust you. I would, if you were a vet, I wouldn't bring a sick cat to you. But I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to give you my first name. And then well, you, and you defend these cops, and, and you want us to trust you with their name. I might be very good with animals. <laughs> See? So, yeah, Come on. It, this, this is, this oh, is the, the staggering disconnect uh, between... You're, you're going to get to see. You're going to get to see all of this in its glory. It's going to fold out uh, how it is. I love Dal Dallas. I spent a lot of time in Dallas. It's a great city. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And and they used to be great. This was an egregious violation, and uh, this is, yeah, this well, is. I still believe that Dallas is a great place. Uh, it is a great place. It's just filled with a bunch of bad cops. So, and the problem with bad cops is. I think that's a little bit of perspective. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just my opinion, shared by millions. Um, but uh, and especially after this video really starts to take off, it was just posted, and it is going to be a Category Five shitstorm uh, for the, the for Southeast Division and all of Dallas. Trust me, it has just started, and uh, just giving you a heads up. So, I'll call. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll call IAB tomorrow. What was your name again? I'm Officer Bird. B U R T. Great. Serial or badge number, please. Eleven one twenty. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Badge number. We don't go by serial numbers, sir. Okay. I'm just. I'm just asking. <laughs> Thank you very right. much. All right. And what was your name again, sir? I didn't give it. <laughs> of course you didn't. Of, no. Yeah. We already went over this. Because we don't you trust call, you. You can call me good citizen. Good citizen. All yeah. right. Then. Yeah. Well, you I'm can write that. Great. You can write that in your report. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah. Piss off. Fucking jerk offs. So one of the things that I'm doing here was uh, I'm just trying to make good on the threat that was made towards me. So there was a, a Dallas PD working the desk who, upon my phone call, called me out and told me if I had a problem that I should come into the station. I just want to let him know that I'm a man of my word and just came to see if he's here, right? Yeah, I mean that's all. I want to give a big shout out to Brett Landry and all the fans from Moron Bay who came in and trolled earlier. I pinned one of his comments. Thanks, Brett. About us getting a job and Thanks. being Thanks, no, no job losers. Spoken by the trust fund kid. So, but 
I'm not judging, I'm just reporting. Same guy, yeah, oh, we're... Oh, it's the guy. No, 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 yeah, that's the guy. That's this the is guy. the guy. Yeah. Hurry, hurry, this hurry, is him. Hurry. This is him. Quick. Don't miss him. This is him. <coughs> can, we, can we talk to him? Hey, how's it hey. going? How are What's you, going on? Good. Uh, I think you were the guy that I talked to on the phone a few weeks back, and you told me if I had a problem, I should come down to the station. Nathan, right? No. Yeah. No, Johnny. No, I, I believe you're Nathan. Okay, whatever. Okay, so you... Plotner? Nathan Plotner? So, uh, so, you have a police emergency I can help you with? Uh, well, you, 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 were the, you were the gentleman that, 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 told, that threatened me and told me to come down to the station if I had a problem, so I'm here. I told you to come to the station if you want to talk to me that way. So you're here, Mr. Plotner. How can I help you? Uh, when was the last time you had a psych eval? When was the last time you had one, sir? Uh, earlier today. After or before your conviction? Oh, okay, you, you, you want to double down on the fact that my name is Nathan? It is. Oh, what's, what's your name? Give, k k tell me your name. Villanueva, 9068. How do you spell that? Plotner. V-I-L-L-A-N-U-E-V-A. Villanueva? Correct. Great. So, um... It's, it's definitely what, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, but, but cool, but it, whatever, if you... Mr. Plotner, how can I help you? It's definitely Johnny, it really yeah, is. Yeah. I, how can I help you, sir? Uh, I, well, I just wanted to know, uh, the, you, you, you told me that I, I should come down here if I, if I had a problem with you, and I, I, I made it all the way here. Well, so how can I help you is what well, I'm asking. Well, I, I wanted to know that, what, what, did, what did you want to say to me now in person? What did you want to say to me? Well, I wanted to tell you to stop hanging up on me because you work for me. So you said it. Oh, no, I got a lot of other things to say, too. For, like, do you have a police emergency? Is there something I can help you with having to do with a crime? Well, yeah, yeah, I wanted to, uh, I'm, I'm going to make a, a IA take report a against breath, you as take well. Breath, take a deep breath and make sure you get it out. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you good with animals? Yeah. yeah. Good? Okay, cool. This, this, is, uh, uh, this is the last day on the job for you, so I just want to let you know. Uh, animal, con I heard animal, you're, you'll be able to keep some of your city benefits, but not many. But... Um, Working over at uh, animal control. Do you have a police emergency I can help you with? Uh, do you have a Do you have a citizen emergency that I can help you with? Because no. you you, you th it sounded like you threatened me to come down here. Yeah, that's so. What, that's I, I I flew all the way out here from California to come in and for you to make good on your threat to me. Okay. That's what we all. So heard. is that? So is that? There goes the walk of shame, folks. No, he's coming out. He's coming out. Is there something that can help you with, sir? Yeah, you, 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 you challenged me to come down here yeah. on the okay. telephone. So, so do you have a police emergency that can help you? Uh, almost, Otherwise, almost in about 30 crazy. seconds we might. Are you threatening me? I, I no, I, 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 you, you're the one that, you, no. no, no, you get out of here. No, piss off, piss off, dude. Don't tell me where Piss off, get the fuck back to work, dude. The fuck out of here. Come on. Yeah, come on. I can help you with. Yeah. You what the fuck threats? is your problem, dude? Okay. You still want to make threats? You want to still make threats? Come on, dude. Still a tough guy? What the fuck is wrong with you, still dude? A tough guy? Get back to work, bitch. You work for me, bitch. Okay. You work for me, bitch. Keep being tough. You work for me, bitch. Come on, keep being tough. Go fuck yourself, dude. <clears throat> Go fuck off. Go fuck off, tough guy. Come on, tough guy. Come you on, want me to get? Come on, back out. Come on, dude. You gonna go hit the? You gonna go hit the weight pile? Oh, dude, he's he's steaming. He's he he's hot. is fucking hot. Holy shit, she. Hey, what's his? He's steaming. Yeah, he threatened me and told me I should come down here. I flew out here from fucking California. Oh, yeah, there is need for profanity. He threatened me. I'm not going to tell you my name. He apparently knows my name. You may sorry? Nice yeah, yeah, you have a nice evening too. Piss off. You get back to work. This guy. Yeah, right. piss off. Yeah, you. Piss off. This guy right here. And, and this gentleman right here in the plain clothes. He's about the nicest guy. You, you were very nice yeah. to us, sir, yesterday. So we really appreciate you actually came out and spoke to us like a human being. One of the we only, appreciate that. The only respectful... Respectful yeah. person I've seen on the night shift here ever. Yeah, so we really we really respect that and uh, we appreciate that
So Villanueva was pissed. He's hot. He's pretty hot. He's steamed up. Oh, he... That escalated quickly. So he makes threats over the phone? And yeah, and then doesn't want to make good on him. And then thinks that he, then he thinks that I'm, I'm Nathan. Boy, he was doubling down on that, man. Yep. All right. He was doubling down. Yeah. All right, we're going to need to... Well, that was your man. That was him. Guy. Oh, that was him. For as, fuck as you sure. Can see, he's, he's, uh, he's just as much of a hothead yep. in, in, in person as he is on the phone. So, you know, he's not... <clears throat> that, was good. that was good. It was the same thing I got when I came out here, too. Well, that's the know? same thing I got on the telephone with him. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to come in here in person and fly out all the way from fucking California for you to make good on your threat. Yep. Oh, night. no, we'll hang here for a minute. That was a... Hang here for a minute and see what the chat is doing. That was, a, that was a good live stream. There's a reason he's in there, though. There's a reason he's in there answering phones every night. Yep. Instead of out here on patrol. There's a reason, because that's how he's, I, I guarantee, I, we, I need, we need to do a FOIA on him, actually. We need to find out why he is in there, behind Vill the desk. Villanueva. So if you don't like my use of profanity, please find another channel to go and be a fucking cheerleader for, okay? It ain't me. <laughs> I'll use profanity even in the Bible Belt. No, I think the profanity was absolutely justified, and yeah. I got I got no yeah. problem with it. Yep. yep. There's a time and a place and a yeah, situation, and that was it. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk to you like I talked to you that night, and you know what? And 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 you know what? And he got fucking triggered that night, and he got triggered just the same in he's, person. He's, he's so not, now he's not. He's used to being in charge. He's he, not used to being told, "No, you work for us. You're you're not you're not the boss. We are." And he's not very stable. It's no, a bad combination. Not. Yeah. The bad combination. Notice he didn't have a gun on his hip, and that's probably a very good thing. It's probably for, it's probably for a reason. Yeah. Is it, wasn't it the other guys where they take his gun away and they give him the wooden gun? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that, we should have brought him a wooden gun, except they'd probably. Oh no! Yeah, they right. no. We get. Oh my God! You brought him. We'd be shot. Right. We'd be shot and dead. Hey, can I get a can I get a complaint for him, please? One second. One second. I've heard that yeah. before. I've heard one second before here, and I waited up to 45 minutes for one second. So I'm really. So you're you gonna walk away? Complain for him, please. Complain for him, please. I'm just, yeah, out the door. See, I've heard one second here before. One second. Yeah, there he goes. He 45 minutes. Walking out the door. I believed it the first time somebody said that here too. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. Can I get a complaint for him, please, Mr. Three Stripe? I don't even think this guy in the plain clothes is on the phone. I think he's just posturing yeah. that he's on the phone because that would yeah. be that would be my move. Yeah. I mean, all he all he hears on the other end is. Eh, 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 eh. Can, I don't have a for you don't have. Great, thanks. We're, just so you know that uh, uh, he threatened me over the telephone to come down to the station, so I flew all the way out here from California. To, for him to make good on his threat, so. Um, and today was almost his ni last night on the job. It still could be. There's still hope. Nah, it's not the last night. No, I know, I know. You guys can yeah. shoot and kill people and get a paid vacation. It's great. Uh, you guys have any job openings? Do you want a shoplift form? A shoplift form? Uh, no, I want a, a, a oh, douche. Sure. I want a douchebag report. If <laughs> you have that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Officer, Officer complaint yeah. form. We'll, let, we'll you, okay. Great, thank that's you. Not, that's not like a. You guys normally. 
I mean, I assume deep Dallas PD gets a lot of officer complaints, don't that's they? Why they're, that's why they're out of them. Oh, okay. That's why they get Most police departments just have a form. I've never seen one. Huh. Okay. I guess we direct them all down there. That's how I do it. Is he really going to go look for a form, though, or are we going to be here for 45 minutes again? Because <laughs> honestly, I'd, I'd like to just know right now so we could... Uh, he said he's going to look. Okay. Because I hear just a second a lot here, and like, your guys' seconds are like my hours. Hurry up and wait. That's what we all live for, right? Well, I know you guys. I know you guys. Are, I know you guys are swamped and all. You know what I mean? So military, huh? <laughs> military, huh? <coughs> government. Yeah, government. They're the least effective at everything and anything. Hurry up and wait. Yeah, I do a personnel request. I did a FOIA actually on all four of the officers that accosted Patrick that day here and illegally searched him. I actually did a FOIA. I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff to follow up on this, but it's been almost four weeks. Guys, I haven't done an update because there is no update. This, <laughs> that, this is how government works. There's nothing to update you on. Like that thing that happened at the post office the other day. I imagine two or three months from now, I'll have some information and I'll update you on it, but constantly working on it. So that's government. <clears throat> Avery Red has been fired from Dallas Police Department before too. If you oh. guys didn't know that. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, every I'm, I'm Well, he planned to know too. Well, but yeah, and those of you that are unfamiliar, one of the stories was he found a toy gun on a truck driver mm -hmm. and he booked it and he arrested him for it. He booked it into evidence with a serial number. The toy gun. With the a serial toy number. gun with a serial number. A fake one, because obviously a toy gun doesn't have a serial number. So he made it up. Right. Uh, how many digits do you know? I have no idea, but he made it up. And, and they asked, why did you do that? His response, D-U-N-N-O, dunno. And he still has a job. Dunno. What? Dunno. No, he, he did get fired. The union got him back on. He got fired. Union got him back on, and that's why he works inside of here now. That's why he was here that day. But I wanted to get the actual personnel report and show you guys the actual paperwork. This has got to be careful around here. With, with all these other officers in here with guns, he could snatch a gun and... and yeah. Kill somebody at any moment. Yeah, this glass right here, this bulletproof glass, it goes both ways. I mean, it's for our protection too. Right. I mean, we get a rogue cop in there. You got there. a cop right there. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, he's got a gun. You never know when when villain might grab that another officer's gun and just try to shoot somebody again. Yeah. Obviously, completely unstable guy. Thanks everybody for being here. This was my first time ever meeting James Freeman and um, we became thick as thieves quickly. We were touching tips within milliseconds. It was a great time. It's been about a week out in Dallas and uh, we've got some great content. So I published this story live and I published the phone call separately. I wanted to just try to condense the two together to make it a little bit more of a cohesive storyline. So uh, appreciate everybody being here. Me and Sirius Black. Hi. So um, thank you guys for being here. James Freeman is my baby daddy. <laughs> uh, love all you guys. Go check out my um, live channel and find me on Twitter and Facebook and if you want to find your way back to this channel hit the subscribe button you can hit the bell notifications they generally work they generally don't work it's kind of a crapshoot so um, appreciate everybody's being here and uh, I'll see you on the next video thanks